What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be drawing Goku Super Saiyan Namek. So it's the original sort of Super Saiyan form in that classic Dragon Ball Z Z scene. So I'm on landscape paper, use a pencil and an eraser for these always and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand and stuff, right? So find your center point of your page about here. We're gonna drop it down a little bit just to fit in his hair. So center point about here, come down, and we're gonna start with his big eye. So we're in three quarter pose. We can see his back and he's kind of looking sort of intently over his shoulder, like looking real serious. So we have a big eye and a small eye. So what three quarter pose means is you can only see three quarters of his face. So we have a quarter of the other side of his face that's missing. And we can just see like a little sliver of this part of his face, right? So we'll start with the big full eye first. So we'll just do this tick for his eyebrow. Curving like that. Okay, ticks up and then curves over. And then the other side, some of this will go underneath hair, but you should be using a pencil so you'll be able to erase any lines that you shouldn't see underneath objects. And then we'll go down and up. So then his eye, classic Dragon Ball square eyes. So small line here, long diagonal here. And then it goes across to meet like that. His iris, just a circle. We can see the full thing. Like so, and he's no pupil. So we have a couple of these cheek lines just underneath. And then in Dragon Ball, so we got that frowning W sort of shape that's at the front of his eye, right? So it's just like here, curve line here. And then we got like a, another one on the inside. And another line like there. So just below that, then we got the nose. So it comes out like so. Just below this little frown here. And then it goes down like that. And then we have a shadow in underneath. Just there. His mouth then just underneath his nose. So it's real small, nearly touching the nose. Slight curve, go across and curve down. And then like a shadow for his bottom lip so the small eye then just up here you just do a curve line up for the eyebrow now this eye is smaller than this eye right it's about half the size of it right so it curves up and then we'll bring this eyebrow down and he gets real skinny as we go down to the front and it goes around the back of his eyebrow there. So then square part of his eye, the long part just here. And this will come over, up into there. And then his iris just here, just looking back this way. Then we got like some cheek lines just there. And I think in this one we can have just a little bit thicker on the corners of his eyes here. Okay, so the shape for the side of his face, right? So we've got his chin down here. So it's real square sort of chin line like here, right? And the shape for his face will go up the side, right up to a hair spike up here. So first we'll curve out for his cheek. Right, like that. So it kind of curves this way. And then it'll go up the side of his face. Right, like this. And this one slightly curves as well. It's not like a dead straight line. Slight little curve out.
And then on this side, we can see his jaw. So we go up for his jaw. Like so. And then just about this level, we're just underneath his mouth. We turn the corner up to there. So if you were looking at his face, like on the diagonal here, we're sort of in line with his eyebrows for the jaw, see? On this diagonal line. It's like right underneath that eyebrow. You don't go much further than that. And then we'll do his ear. So big ears in Dragon Ball, right? So ear lobe, much bigger than you think. Comes up. Around like so. And we have bones and ligaments inside. So just curve a line around here. So the easiest way is always just the good old like letter J sort of thing. Like this. But we gotta add some more details inside. And every artist does this differently. So Yeah, you know, don't worry too much if you do it slightly different to me. No one really looks at ears. Okay, so he's got kind of like a cheek line there. And there's all scratch marks and stuff all over his face, right? So like stuff like this. It's done real sort of fine lines. Like this. Right. And it's all over his body as well, but they're the ones, main ones that are on his face. There's some on his forehead, but we got to do his fringe first. So his hair, right? So we come down beside his ear. There. And we go up around his eyebrow. There. Meet the next one. That comes down. And this one will actually go across his eyebrow. Down to there. And then this goes back up, like so, to the middle. Of course, you can erase any lines that you don't want to keep. I like that eyebrow line inside there. And then his fringe comes in here, and then it bumps up like a letter M just there. And then it's going to go down across, like so. Like I said, there's loads of scratch marks and stuff inside here. And there's like some hairlines underneath these. Right, then, so large hair spike now comes up. Real big hair spikes in this form. Texture line comes down here. So, so one, two, three, and then we got another one sort of coming out from behind that. Like so. Um, right, and then we got, so you, in Dragon Ball hair, it's like a candle flame, so it, go, it gets real wide and goes around up to a point, like right up the top of my page, right? So, safe coming out from the back of his ear. So we got like, curve line here, spike, and then we start to go up, right? And particularly in this Dragon Ball Z, not Dragon Ball Super hair, it's like real big, right? Goes up like so, down into there. Then we have the big middle spike, I think, now, yeah. So this goes up like that, and comes back down into there, right? And then we have more spikes, small spikes that curve up this side, right? So out here. So, there, there, that's one in behind 
these two like so and then just one more to bring it up to here and we have one more sort of floating inside here okay so like it comes up from just say above his ear so it comes up like this way and that travels in up to there and then it goes back down like so then we have some texture lines not as many texture lines as we usually have on a Dragon Ball character but there's just like one or two lines and the color of this hair is like it's a real pale yellow it's not like that sort of bright yellow that we see in the modern Dragon Ball we've got like some other curved lines here This is, that's roughly all the texture lines there is. So we move down now and we'll do some anatomy. We'll do his back and his neck and his shoulders and stuff. So we're going down to probably his triceps. That's as much as I could fit in. So his back, right, and his neck. So we have a real curved line coming down here. Right, like so, that's the back of his neck. Front of his neck. Comes out here. Let's see, maybe some more neck there and another neck muscle line just here so the shape for his back so it kind of bumps a couple of times one two then leave a little bit of a gap right and it comes down and in down to there and so like the line for his spine, like the center line for his spine is like here, and then it like continues down like so. Then we have a big shoulder here and a small, smaller shoulder on this side. We'll do the small one first. It just comes out like that. And then we see tricep comes down and off, and then the other side of the tricep here. Another one there. Maybe the inside of his arm here. And you could have some shoulder muscle lines, like so. So then we have a big round shoulder here, so it comes out like so real big it's about the size of his face right so it's about the same size as his face this shoulder down and in to there and the other side of that comes around the back to there and then it comes down to a tricep like so we have another shoulder muscle line this line a bit longer and the one in here so these are all the deltoid muscles on the shoulder now so you've got roughly three usually and then line there center line for his bicep there curve line that way so, and like his shoulder blade sort of here it's like a V sort of line going up that way that way and then we've got like hatching So lots of these sort of scratch marks and stuff on his back.
like that. So roughly that's his back, right? So if we were if it was a normal person, you might think that's all you see, but this is Goku, so he's his chest is sticking out here at the front. Because he's real muscly, so chest sticks out here. And then we've like side body line there. And then this comes down to the front. And nipple. Chest muscles are the lines, scratch marks. Like so. And if you want, then we can give him an aura. So let's see. Where's the aura image I had? Now we can make it up. I don't know where the image is gone. So we'll just like add flame. Lines like this. Like so every now and then you could have some flame flying off. Like so, and you just do the same thing. So, right, that's it. That's how to draw classic Super Saiyan Goku from the Namek Saga. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.